spring of 2000 in the Philly train station, complete with a 20-foot high bronze angel holding a fallen soul in her strong arms. Her wings are open and ready. There's a distraught equanimity to her gaze and she seems to be looking at everyone. Everyone in this very large station. She is a luminous presence. I'm in the station waiting for someone to arrive, someone I have totally fallen in love with. And I feel so very connected and so very alone. I look across the many faces in this wide open, mostly empty room where so little happens and so much is anticipated. And I imagine the telepathic calls we are sending out to ourselves and to others. So much like this guardian unseen angel of souls calling out to each of us and mostly going unheard. I try to listen in for what she might be saying, but she's not using words. What I am hearing though, what I am hearing are delicate, undefended monologues, rising like prayers to the heavens, rising like beacons of light in a storm from traveling souls in search of a place to go. I hear them, like, like I see you looking, you don't know me. I walk through the halls of our giant train stations. I sleep on the wooden benches worn beautiful and smooth by the countless others who've passed here before me, by generations who are probably waiting for the sight and sound of someone they love. But me, I'm just here holding on to whatever I can. You don't know me. You don't know me. And then another. You don't, don't know, know me. I sit, I sit alone, alone with my headphones, cranking the music of the streets that I know. Call me to survive another day. I'm tuned, tuned in, in, but running, running out of time. time. I'm thinking maybe those, those who sat here before me hum, hum the songs of their lives just, just under their breasts to accompany them in these moments of such, such strange loneliness. So, so, so yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe I'm, I'm wishing I was waiting for someone I love. Like, like maybe, maybe they, they were wishing, wishing they were waiting for someone they love. And it, and it hits, hits me that, that you, you, you and others, others are looking, looking at me like, like you, you know, know me or something. But hey, 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 you don't know me. don't know me. I have just enough energy to get on the bus, to get to the train station. Just enough energy left in my arms, my legs, and in my heart to make one more journey home to where they all know me. To where we talk about and remember times long gone, just like they were yesterday. To where the loves lost and found resonate loud and true. To where some tears will find their way from sadness I've known. Find their way down my wrinkled face and somehow heal the pains of what I've lost. By being part of so much that I've gained by being so very alive. I laugh more than you think. I cry more than I want to admit. I've seen more, risked more, lost more, and found more than anyone even knows. But right now, right now I sit alone on this hard bench that's even older than I am. I hear the sounds of lives so much younger than mine. I feel the energy of the people, the roar of the trains, and the purr of my sweet memories that are mine, and mine alone to share when the moment comes. I look around at the people here, when they're not looking, I suppose they look at me. A lot of people in this world. And then I realize, then I realize that so many of you, so many of you, you don't know me. You don't know me. <laughs>